I am finally going to talk about some video games. I got uh, Gears of War 4 delivered yesterday. Extremely excited. Big fan of the Gears series. Uh, as soon as I got home from work, I immediately went to my French port. My front porch. That's where uh, the delivery guy usually leaves my Amazon packages. And uh, I opened up the front door, and sitting on my porch was a plate full of cookies. And my immediate reaction was to freak out and be like, No! One of my neighbors stole Gears of War, and they're mocking me with cookies instead. But that's not what happened. Uh, there were cookies on my porch. And uh, someone very nice left those cookies for me. And uh, I had forgotten that uh, the package was shipped through the U.S. Postal Service. So I had to go to the mailbox, which, eh, whatever, it was there. And I was super excited. And as I was walking back to my house from the mailbox, it's it's a little... It's a little walk to the uh, community mailboxes from my house. But as I was walking back to the house and I had Gears of War 4 in my hands in the shrink wrap, I was like super, super excited to play it. Um, I was thinking about how the magic of getting a new video game just has, has never worn off. Like there's always something amazing about getting a new video game. Just the excitement and... I don't know what it is. It, it I get a rush whenever I get a new video game and I pop it in, I install it, I download the day one patch like you do nowadays. And when you start playing it, man, it, I get a rush. And uh, very similar to the uh, <clears throat> rush of getting high. Um, though I consider it much better, personally. Um, and... You know, when I was a, a crazy drug addict and I didn't have any money and, and whatnot, I, I missed just tons of video games came out and that I just missed. I, I never played. Uh, it was at the end of, uh, I guess it was, we're in the eighth generation of video games, console games. So I guess it would have been uh, the uh, fifth or sixth, the PlayStation 2 generation. Uh, that was like really the last console I played, the PlayStation 2 and uh, my GameCube, before I completely went off the deep end. And, you know, I had a PC throughout uh, all those years because I couldn't pawn it. Like, I'm pretty sure no pawn shops would take it, even though it was a pretty sweet computer. But it did age really fast. If you don't upgrade every six months, your computer is just obsolete and it's a piece of garbage. But I uh, never really played any video games while I was addicted. Um, to, to heroin and cocaine. Um, but after I got out of rehab, I had pawned all of my video game collection. So I had my PC. I had a decent PC. And the uh, first game I played out of rehab was uh, Star Control 2. Actually, uh, correction, not Star Control 2. It was uh, the Urquan Masters by the Precursors. It's basically uh, Toys for Bob released all the source code for Star Control 2, and uh, some people took it and redid the game and put all the they redid the music and everything, and it's it's amazing and it's free for pretty much any platform. I play it on my PC, I play it on my my MacBook. I'll put a link in the description. Just really amazing game. One of my it's it's. One of my favorite games, Star Control 2. So that was, that was the first game I played out of rehab until I scraped together some money to buy an old used, uh, my buddy's old used uh, PlayStation 2. And I went through Final Fantasy X again. But, you know, I was thinking about all this, just how awesome it was to get Gears of War 4. And, you know, I get new games all the time. Like, you would think the magic would have worn off by now because I get like a new game every other week and I have a ton of them and I went so long without buying any while I was in my addiction that when I was done I kind of overcompensated and I bought like a ton of games. I got a, a used Xbox 360. This was 2011 
I wasn't quite done with drugs at that point, but uh, yeah, I got a, a, an Xbox 360 and I would literally go to work, get off work, stop at GameStop, hang out with my buds at GameStop, go through the giant uh, shelves of used games and I'd buy two or three of them almost every day, if not, well no, not every day, every week. But I'd go in there every day to see what new games they had. And the Xbox 360 library was just huge. Like, the used games, there was just tons of them. And they were super cheap. So I bought a ton. I, I should take a picture. And in my, my next video, I'll put a picture of all, all the games that I own. I own just hundreds of games. But I missed video games so much when I was, uh, when I was a junkie. And... I have a lot to make up for, and I'm still still uh, making up for lost time. I get way too many games for Christmas. So I still have some games in shrink wrap. I, I think I just unwrapped Phantom Pain from last Christmas, and here it is going to be Christmas in two months. And uh, I've never even popped it in my Xbox, but... It's just awesome. So I have all these games and I need to play them. And uh, played some Gears of War 4 last night. Just, just a really great game. I am extremely pleased with it. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I played some, some Halo 5 multiplayer, which I'm actually getting better at Halo. I've never been a Halo guy. Uh, my buddy had an original Xbox Fat. I guess that's what you call them, the the OG, the the OG Xbox, which to me it was just a PC, and they ended up making really once you modded them, they were pretty awesome at running emulators. But uh, uh, we played Halo every once in a while, and it was pretty cool. And then it was ported to PC, and it was just utter garbage on the PC. So I never played Halo after that. Um, I didn't pick up the Master Chief Collection, but I did pick up. Uh, Halo 5 for really cheap last year for $14. I think once I did the wheeling and dealing and trading in and the coupons and, and stacking codes and stuff, it, it ended up being 14 bucks. And it, I've had it for a while. I, I still haven't finished the campaign, but I've started playing the multiplayer on it. I, I'm, I love playing Destiny. Uh, put a lot of time into Destiny and the Call of Duty games. So I figured I'd give Halo uh, a try, Halo 5. I'm really enjoying it, and I don't suck as bad, but the thing is, is like my kill-to-death ratio is still pretty skewed, because when I started, I just was awful, and now I can actually go positive every single game. And it makes me feel good. Um, so, there's that, um, which, you know, gosh, just talking about Halo 5, I want to go, go play it right now. And some gears. I, I wish I could play them both at the same time. Like, there's just not enough time in the day for video games and uh, with a full-time job and all the, the stuff I do on the side and yard work and housework and, and stuff just I do play a lot of video games but I would like to play more if I could but uh, yeah talking video games feels good what I really need to be doing is editing my uh, videos to upload to YouTube. I'm falling way behind. Um, I'm, I'm currently working on part six, the, the, the video part of it, adding the video game clips and <clears throat> adding all the little commentary and, and little pictures that pop up. So it's done. I just need to finish it up and upload it to YouTube. I already have part seven done and two other videos on top of that two other audios that I need to do, including this one that I'm doing right now. So I'm really starting to fall behind. I need to get cracking on uh, throwing my videos together. Not that anybody even watches them, but I'm feeling more and more comfortable doing this and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So even if nobody watches them, nobody cares. I'm, I'm enjoying myself, I'm having fun. And really that's, that's all that matters. So. I'm going to go play some video games.